Well, good afternoon, folks. I'm going to start just a moment early. Uh, I have to apologize up front. Um, six, seven months ago, when I wrote a proposal for this talk, I thought I'd have a lot more meat to put on the bones. Um, you're going to see I'm a little thin here, but the good news is you get to get to the drawing earlier and we have a lot of great prizes. So turn in your passport, go there and win the prizes. Uh, this is the, the final final. This is three weeks in a row, three conferences in a row where I'm speaking the last day and the last time slot. So, yeah. Uh, my name is Dave Stokes. I'm a technology evangelist for, for, for Coda. I've been here for a little bit over a year and a quarter. Um, FerretDB is kind of interesting. I started talking to Peter Farkas about this a year ago. Um, this is the presentation verbiage that when I wrote up the proposal of how things are going to go. Um, MongoDB is a life-changing technology for a lot of developers because they think in documents, they think in records, they don't think in columns and rows. So when the Mongo engineer folks started hitting every user group in creation, um, it was a godsend for a lot of developers who don't like SQL and don't think in sets. Um, where I live in North Texas, you couldn't go to a user group six years ago or so without having a Mongo engineer telling you the winners of Mongo. And they did a wonderful job of it. And I was working for Oracle at the time. So these guys are eating our lunches, cleaning our clocks, and taking away our, our insert. We need to do something. Um, 2018, Mongo banned its open source roots, changed the license to the SSPL. I don't know if you've read their FAQ or their SSPL. Uh, the thing that they were doing to try to take the cloud vendors out of out of out of the business was that. In their license, it really says, if you offer Mongo and you change it, all your software belongs to us. Not just the stuff you change, not the stuff periphery to Mongo. Everything you write belongs to us. Um, so, FerretDB is a stateless proxy. Uh, converts Mongo protocol to SQL. Um, it works fairly well, and you'll see that in a minute. Um, it works well with the MongoDB uh, CLIs that I've been played with. And this session, we'll look at this approach, uh, its current status, and hopefully a glimpse of the future. Uh, I was talking to uh, Peter yesterday, and I'm going to review with him and share some of that. Oh, once again, that's me, um, longtime open source advocate. Was on the MySQL community team for over 11 years. I have a book on JSON on MySQL. Uh, if you need to get a hold of me, at Stoker, david.stokesatpercona.com. I'm probably the third easiest person to find on the internet. So... As I mentioned, MongoDB did a lot of things right. And there's Peter. If we have questions, we just go back to him. Um, like I mentioned earlier, when Mongo started out, they sent engineers everywhere to teach people how to use MongoDB. Um, it was amazing. Uh, lots of initial hand pulling. As much as we open source folks are kind of hobbyists and like to do things at heart by ourselves, uh, for folks who aren't that way, that was a godsend. The big thing was that you didn't have to learn structured query language. Uh, if you're a DBA, you love structured query language and you can't understand why developers can't figure out this, this nice declarative language. And so let's put an ORM in there, add an extra layer of complexity and slow things down. And by the way, can't have any business logic because we're using an ORM. So it was robust enough in the beginning and it did a lot of great things at a basic level. So it was a godsend for a lot of developers. And then in 2018, they went from the AGPL v3 to the server side public license. Uh, this was also about the time that Maria changed the MaxDB license, and it was the first wave of the license changes to piss off the cloud vendors and indirectly the, the users. So their president said the market is quickly moving to consume most software as a service. This is a time of incredible opportunity for open source projects with the potential to foster a new way of a great open source server side software. The reality, however, is that once an open source project becomes interesting, it's too easy for large cloud vendors to capture all the value, but contribute nothing back to the community. Um, if you're on the periphery of the music business and you know any artists out there, you know they're not making money from the streaming services. Uh, if you know anyone who writes for TV uh, movies or something like that, they're on strike right now because they're not getting money. So at heart, I can understand why they wanted to do that. However, um, the folks who have to support Mongo got stuck. So 
choices after 2018. You can run the version before the license change forever and ever. Hope there's no major CVEs, everything works great. And the folks you work with don't mind running on outdated software. Uh, anyone work in an environment like that? And do you have job openings? <laughs> um, the other thing is run the current version with SSPL. A lot of people are doing that. Our version of Mongo that we have, we add enterprise features that Mongo adds, but we give them away for free, but we're still bound by the SSPL. Uh, the, odd, the other thing is, I need to change that. So this is not, uh, I'm gonna have to re-upload that. Our version is not, not on the GPL. I'll update the slides online. Um, it, if our coach is bound by the SSPL, does that mean the Mongo company hits all of your, they can download them from our sources, wherever they want our, our repositories. Like we tell them if they're, you could. Well, the enterprise stuff that we add, they already sell. So why would they have two key connectors, um, or audit logs? So I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, use something different, such as ferret DB. Now the story is two wise men were traveling through the foothills of the Himalayas a couple of years ago, pondering life. And suddenly one of them brilliantly said, Hey, let's make a compatible Mongo protocol on top of Postgres. Is that the way it went, Peter? Yeah. So ferret DB. Uh, found it to become the de facto open source substitute for MongoDB. Uh, it's an open source proxy converting the Mongo 6.0 plus wire protocol queries to SQL using Postgres as a database engine. Um, getting it running is real easy. Uh, Docker run, um, and you do the, the pull down from uh, their, their uh, repository. Uh, and getting it running. I downloaded Percona's version of the Mongo shell and um, was able to connect with it, but this is just using it from Docker and up you come. You're running FerritDB, but you're talking Mongo. And uh, this is using the Mongo, the Percona's Mongo shell. Uh, real easy to get into and ta-da, you are doing the Mongo stuff. Now, um, if you've played with Mongo before, this will look terribly um, familiar. If you haven't played with Mongo and this is not SQL, it'll look a little odd. So first thing I did is type show collections, no collections, create a collection called test. By the way, my variable names, my schema names, my column names are all brilliant like that. So going to be impressed. So do db.test at insert one, put in one record, gets the information back, put in another record. So it works like Mongo taking in data. Uh, if I want to do a find on the name column, likewise. Uh, if I want to do a find on another column uh, where I know it's going to get two results, boom, there you are. So at the most basic level, FairDB is acting like Mongo. Uh, by the way, if you notice a slight shuttle change between uh, state with Texas in quotes and the traditional Mongo uh, syntax of dollar equal. Both work. So it works. Great. Um, what else do, do they have to do? Um, this is a list of known differences from the website. Peter, that's kind of a half look of, yeah, uh, darn. Um, they have a lot of work to do and they are doing it. I was testing this as one one or one zero and one one just came out, and uh, it's going to be what once a month, once every other month. You're going to try to push out a new. Okay, so um, unless you see something on here that's a so showstopper for what you're doing, um, it works great. Uh, it's also the heart of Tigris DB. So if you're into the, if you talked to Obase and his crew this week, uh, you're going to love this. Their roadmap is public. This is a, a great thing. 
one of the troubles I had at Oracle MySQL is that we would talk about a roadmap, but we never really had it up in your face saying, this is what we're working on. So um, you can come along on GitHub and see exactly what they're doing and when they're planning to get it done, which I find uh, a great thing to do. Uh, if you want to move beyond Docker, uh, dev and RPM formats out there. Uh, right now, the documentation's lacking. Uh, I'll be bugging Peter about that in the future and trying to write some of my own. Uh, backends. The most popular backend right now is Postgres, but they're also working on SQLite, uh, Tigris, and SAP HANA. Trends. This is a thing that um, I should be hesitant to show in public. If you look at the forecast of the top handful of databases from the DB Engine ranking, uh, something to notice are the trends here. Mongo change of license. Access. Anyone here consider access to news? Sit that Oracle down in trend. MySQL, but less of down in trend. SQL Server down in trend. Postgres, upward trend. Uh, the Postgres community in the past two years or so has really got a fire lit under their tails and they're doing a lot of impressive work. For, uh, version 16 preview comes out next week and um, the back end for, for Ferret TV is strong, robust, and helpful and has a great community. So, once again, at the beginning of this, I mentioned that I was a little thin on material. Um, when I proposed this six months ago, I thought I'd have more between travel, work, and all that. Haven't been able to get there. But the good news is the man who we can give all the hard questions to is in here. So, so any questions, any comments? Anyone think that Postgres is going to be the API behind, behind all the databases? <laughs>